Okay, so here we have your Citadel wall. Um, this is basically made up, you've got this little half sheet here, okay? Um, and if you bought like a core set, you'll probably have that on a, uh, a two, two on one sheet, you have to break apart. Um, and then you've got uh, your, basically a set of actual walls there, and you've got your little rampart parts at the top um, for people to walk along and shoot you with the bows and arrows and what, what have you. Okay, so um, I think probably the best thing to do is I'm um, gonna start with the main um, wall section. So I'm just gonna pop these walls out. Okay, so there's your main wall section as it uh, as it were, and this is how it's gonna to go together. You're gonna to have the three blank ones at the, uh, at the bottom and the windows at the top. You can reverse that around if you like, but I think ideally on a, on a wall like this, you don't want your windows down low where people can climb through them and basically breach your citadel. So, um, and what we're gonna do with the wall is we're then going to take two of these uh, sh like big uh, buttresses here. We're gonna put one here and one here, and we're just gonna clip it together with, with one, two, three, four T-clips, um, and also then with uh, one, two, uh, one, two, three T clips across here as well. So I'm gonna pop these parts out and show you how to do that. Okay, so starting here, you're gonna put a T clip and you're gonna pop it on this wall here at this side, like so, with the T facing inwards. And I'm gonna do that across here. And then once I've got the three sections here, I'm gonna do the same here. I'm gonna put two here, and then I'm going to face those forward. Then it's just a case of putting these two buttresses on the front. And there you go. And what I've done actually, I've just opened the windows now before I put the top on, because otherwise it might be a little bit more difficult um, opening them for the first time. Um, I actually put little window shutters on here. Um, some people might want it just as a clear, completely clear opening. If that's the case, just you can literally just you know run a run a craft knife down the the little half cuts there and remove them completely. Um, but I just think it's I, I just think it adds a nice little cool 3D effect. Uh, to the building uh, or to the wall as it were. Okay, so there you go. Um, you have got the main part of your wall. Now, before we do the top part, because it falls over quite easily at the moment, we're going to assemble the little walkways that go across uh, the back. So I'm gonna grab one of those and show you what you do with those. Okay, so here's your walkway parts. Uh, you've basically got uh, these parts here. Now, I've pushed these bits out. If you don't want them pushed out and you want want it less kind of damaged, if you like, you can uh, just leave those in. So to make one wall, uh, walkway, we need this part here, we need the railing, and we need two of those. And all you do is you are going to slot um, this. Uh, you'll see there's one side that's got just two slots on it and then this side that's got three so you're going to slot these in first uh, into here not pushing them too far in then take your railing and pop it uh, on here and push that all the way down so that it comes past this walkway and then if you've got a bit of room which i have just pop that clip in a little bit further and that creates your walkway Ooh. Okay, so what we need to do is obviously put that on the inside of the building, uh, the, the, the walkway, uh, the wall, there you go. Uh, I'm just gonna choose the middle one to start with. And as you can see already now the wall is perfectly solid. I'm just gonna make the other two and put those underneath quickly. And there you go, that's your solid walkway at the back uh, and of course if you've got a tower um, you know and you've got a door these line up like this so you'd have a, you'd be able to go through there into your tower in through those doors have your action inside and so on and so forth uh, that's really cool uh, okay. so that's that bit all we need to do now is to do the the, the top part on here um, 
And for that, we are going to need these clips and these four um, uh, ramparts, uh, three ramparts even. Okay, so three of these and some clips. Um, these are pretty pretty simple. All you're gonna do is go put a bend through here. And then you're gonna take this clip so it sticks out at the bottom. And you're gonna push that in like so. I'm gonna do that with these ones. You don't wanna over bend this area, although you, know, you can bend it back. Um, because what's going to happen is you'll see that these will help to hold these in place and add tension to it anyway. So I'm going to bring my wall back in. And then I'm going to place these clips here, like so, with the wood facing inwards and the, uh, the kind of stony effect facing outwards. And I'm going to put them across the top of my wall uh, on either side, not the middle slot, two side slots. Then using this clip here, we're going to clip it into the top of the wall. And as we push that down, you'll see that these here kind of help to kind of hold these bits here into position. Uh, and you can even move this rampart, uh, rampart forward a little bit off of the clip so that it makes a nice flush fit. And I'm going to do that with these next two. And that gives you your main wall section, okay? And in its essence, that is your wall. That is your construction of your wall of your citadel. Um, there are a couple of uh, extra bits and pieces on here. Uh, one I need to show you um, uh, what it is. And this is your little canopy here. So I'm gonna pop this off. Okay, here's your canopy. It's a really kind of uh, simple um, uh, bit of kit really uh, and what you're going to do is um, it's going you've got these large clip areas at the bottom of here and then these small little tabs at the top so this is what the canopy is going to do it's going to it's going to have this across the top and it's going to just clip across the top of your wall okay so if I just if you see on the canopy you've got uh, one side of the canopy that's got two slots on it and this side's just got one and we're going to use that. We're going to locate those into here. Okay, it might be a bit of a tight fit. And then you'll see that once that's in, you can ease this through this top one here. And again, mine's a bit tight. So you probably want to get a craft knife on that. Um, I'm just going to force mine in like so. And then on this side, I'm going to do the same. That was a bit of tight. I might put a pop craft knife on here. And you can see here that there's no, nowhere to kind of slot in because we've got this shape here, which is kind of important um, if you're putting your canopies on the side. So I'm gonna pop this over here now. And all you can do is you can slide it onto the back of these little clips here. And it means you can give yourself a little canopied area, um, you know, where you're, yeah, you're slightly more important. People might be here sort of barking orders or, you yeah, know, um, I don't know. So, you, so you've got this. Now, if you've got multiples of these walls, uh, you'll get one of these with each wall. So you might have one wall where you just want all canopies across it, um, in which case you can obviously just do that um, and have them all in one section uh, across one wall. Um, the reason it's got a cut out here is because if you want to assemble your wall uh, maybe at an end like this, uh, whoops, we didn't want it to kind of get in the way of, if I can bring one of my towers over here, okay, we didn't want it to get in the way of uh, this part of the tower, so um, this will allow you to, it kind of sits under this section here uh, to stop it from get, getting in the way basically, uh, and if you can assemble it on this side, um, and you've got one on this side, then it just means you take this off, turn it over, put it on so that this light piece is on this side. And that gives you options to have the canopy in any way, shape or form that you see fit or is relevant for your games. A um, couple of things left. These, um, we've put these on there. They're not really used very often. 
but you might, because generally your castle's gonna, uh, your castle or citadel is gonna be butted up against walls. It might be in a square, and generally the edges of these run off the end of a table or something. Um, but you might want, uh, you might have a section of wall that kind of finishes into your game table, and I think it's really nice to be able to kind of cap off the end of your wall. So um, you could put one of these on here. And there's a couple of little clip joints on here. If I grab some clips. Uh, yeah, so you can basically pop these on here like so. And stick that on there. And it, it allows you to have a, a little end cap. So you get one of those with each wall. Obviously when you're setting up, if you're, if you're setting up a full long wall, you're not gonna need them really. You're gonna have them kind of spare, but it's nice to have the option to do that anyway. And the only thing that we've got left really uh, are some scatter items. So we've got these little torches here. These can be assembled into the front of your wall. Um, and these pieces here, um, these little kind of shield pieces. Um, we just had some space that we couldn't fit anything on. So we've made these kind of little shield pieces. And if I grab one of these walls over here, you can see I put the torches along this particular wall to show you that they just clip in. So you'd need to do that as part of the assembly. Um, and I've got the little round discs on there as well. Um, I think I probably glued them on because they're not like uh, a tower where you might need to take something off and put it back on. Um, I've just glued them on there permanently. It's just a nice little 3D fit, uh, feature that adds a little bit of something extra, you know, to, to, uh, to your wall. I think it looks nice. Um, and we've also got some more, uh, a couple, we've managed to fit, uh, fit on uh, a couple of little lances and, you know, like a little sword and thing that so you can have a little bit of like sword play. Uh, and sometimes these are nice to just kind of stick you know, as decorations inside on a wall or something like that. Um, uh, just adds that 3D element. So we've got those bits there. But otherwise, that is your um, citadel wall.